but gonna have to make it through every single player in this bracket yeah and he actually um is a eddie main so it's gonna be interesting to see as okay now we're gonna go to phoenix first um but mm -hmm. phoenix with the ling shao yu playing started playing since 2000 so that is quite it's crazy to think that's such a long time ago but it seems like <laughs> yesterday to me 2000 started on tekken 3 and your red um, is his most uh, influential player and his hobby is drawing which is very interesting actually i wish i could draw i really do me wish too I could draw. I've been thinking about it a lot lately, dude. I was like, dude, there's so many cool art programs, whether it's on like your phone or your tablet or on PC, etc. Now, so like, if you know how to draw, there's just so much stuff you can create. Uh, but yeah, he got third overall for the region, 470 points there, and it's gonna be the Ling Xiao Yu, huh? I like that there's not a potential for another character. What do you think? Is, was there another character in his pocket? Uh, King and Lei was what I had. Okay, in my notes. wow, that's very very different. But here we have Callum Bukes from Cape Town, South Africa. Eddie Gordo gonna be the main, as you mentioned. Started playing in 2018, 18 years. He started playing 18 years after him. Isn't that wild? Yes. Uh, started way back in Tekken 7. Uh, most influenced by Spiro Jin out of Long Island, New York. Uh, crazy. And mm. his hobby is trail running. Oh man, this should be good. Eddie Gordo versus either Ling, King, or Lei, you said. Lei. That is a yes. crazy good roster. And it's funny because we actually did have some Lei slash Ling players way back in the day. Uh, like, you know, Tekken 3 and Tekken 4 times. That's when I felt like I saw a few players. If they had a Lei, they also had a Ling. Uh, there's something about that pairing of characters where it just attracts the same type of player. Yeah, I think it was, I think the most uh, famous one, I want to say famous, is that moment with them. Um... P Ling in Tech and Tech Two, and he started doing those kind of the synergy that those two had. And I think it was was it the the back uh, the throw, and he could get like a death combo. It looked like when uh, I think Lei was in rage. I'm sure I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. You know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I've seen like a death combo. Like I'm sure you could switch it out, and then Lei came in with the was it the four three two string and into oh launch. I'm gosh. sure I've seen it in the back. That um, sounds disgusting, and sounds like Tech and Tag Two to me. You know. Yes. Mm -hmm. but it's going to be very interesting because if you do get the Ling and Eddie match, that's going to be a very um, specific character matchup. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of things that we're going to, we're going to learn a lot of things because I feel like <laughs> those are two very tricky characters and in, in their own respects. You know, Eddie uh, with the spaghetti legs, he's you know good at space <laughs> and wants to keep um, use the back dash, use the space. But Ling is such a tricky, tricky, tricky. I want to say it again, tricky character to fight against. She is yeah, a very evasive. I feel like I was very lucky in that my region we had a lot of Ling Xiao Yu players. So, like, I kind of know a lot of when the tricks are going to happen. Uh, and that obviously helps a ton in that matchup, right? But if you don't know where the tricks are coming, you are in for a world of pain. Uh, and obviously, you know, the Art of Phoenix stance she's got, that AOP, it's a very evasive stance. But I honestly feel like in Tekken 7, we don't really see it utilized as much in that way. Like, there are very few situations where. You know, somebody does mid and it's like AOP went under. It's like, oh my gosh, that's so surprising. It's It seems like it almost never happens. You, should, uh, you know what? I was playing last night and I was playing, <laughs> I was actually using Law and I ran into a Link player and it just felt like everything was being evaded. I felt like I had no mids. <laughs> and I don't know. Really? If ever, yeah. Like back wow, one, I was using back four. Oh no, yeah. Those are not good. <laughs> yeah, I, I found out the hard way. <laughs> Oh, man. But here we go. First game here. Loses bracket action. Down for two. Had the wall that Didn't get a wall break or anything, though. Yeah, Phoenix fighting back. Now, I wonder if these two players have played each other um, at all or have any experience with each other. Nice forward, 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 and, and gets the just frame on guard. Man, caught her out of the air. There's a small conversion. You know, Callum, that yeah. seems to be the problem so far. He's had these moments, but really hasn't been able to capitalize them. Uh, very he, well. Yeah, like I said, he, he got the big counter hit down for two of the wall and got the high wall splat, but no comma. But gets a counter hit confirmed oh, no. there, but drops it. Very unfortunate. Oh boy, up 4 4. Closes out the round. It's always been a good round end for Eddie. Uh, it's funny enough, you know, thinking about this player's name, Phoenix, I definitely was expecting like a Paul Phoenix. Anytime I see someone with the name Phoenix, I'm thinking Paul. But I guess Art of Phoenix, right? That's yes. probably where his name came from. Yeah, definitely. So when I actually first read his name, I thought, oh, yeah, pool player. And I was like, oh, and then when I saw Ling, I was like, oh, okay. It took me a little bit, a little while to figure it out. I was like, yep, yeah, okay, I get it. Well, good pace there for Callum. And here's the down for two counter this time. There's the combo. Okay, we're going to get to the wall. Nice. Goes to the new wall string. It's a flip over. 
The spring mm. kick. Risky business from Eddie there. Leaves him back turn if you do get blocked, but pays off that time. Yes, definitely paid off there. Very risky, as you said. Nice, whiff punish. We're going to get the full mm -hmm. combo. Lovely, yes. Link standing three is a great whiff punish and tool. 14 frame launcher. Yeah, single button 14 frame launcher. No inputs required. <laughs> wow, roll forward while standing too. There you go. Gets his first round on the board. He starts with a down forward 1-1. One, one. I mean, that back two um, free from Eddie, it, every time I see it, I always think it's minus 10. It always looks like, <laughs> I, mean, I saw him Phoenix jab after that. It's just something that you just kind of, when you've been playing Tekken for a while, it just looks like it's minus 10. That's a great back three, three there in the back. Yeah, back three, two, it definitely is a move that should be punishable. <laughs> like, that's the way I look at it. I'm like, what do you mean that's not minus 10? It's gotta be. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm ever used to seeing that. I'm not jabbing. Nice throw break. Wow. Fishing for that down for two counter. He's found a couple of them. Yes, yeah, needs to be okay. Just slides in, no block on the slide. Nice shoulder there. That was a great punish on the relaxed The three. rage drive. Oh my gosh. Great conversion. What's the mix up? Goes low this time. <gasps> Ooh, what is, what's gonna happen? Uh, that wow. was a good mix. Uh, that was a good mix. Yeah, didn't let Callum get anything going. Didn't even let him get up. Holy moly. That was beautiful. It whipped right in front of his face. Had the Mirage ready to go for the whiff punish. That's what you want to see out of an Eddie player. Yes, yeah, definitely that down four, three plus four. You need to have that locked and loaded with Eddie. Okay, hey, nice. Gets just frame again. That is plus five on guard. Okay, hey, has the life lead. This is where Eddie, I feel, excels. When you have the eyes life lead, you don't have to do nothing. Stand in threes, you know, up forward four. Now has the home in properties. The parry. You need to be careful of the rage drive. The block. Great block. There, he yes. blocked correctly five times in a row while she was back turned there, right? Uh, that was pretty good defense from Callum all around. And originally he was stand guarding so much. And then even when she went for the back turn elbow, he didn't duck. I was like, man, you're crazy. She has rage. I was like, you got to duck those. And then finally, none of that works out. Callum roll doesn't work out. Gets the knockdown. She gets a back turn, blocks the rage drive. I was like, wow, that is impressive reads there from Callum to get that defense 100% while she was back turned. Yes, um, but it's saying Ling when she is back turn. It, it's such a square, scary, and especially with the addition of the rage when she has rage and the rage drive. You know, she has the back turn. She wants to go really risky and go for the back turn four. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if a, it's a real just dicey 50 50 there. But like I said, he made the successions of great reads there, great um, defense. Um, I guess he also had the life lead on his side as well. So maybe he could have got one of them wrong, but you don't want to get put in mm -hmm. that Okazemi situation against Ling. Um, but yeah, he was able to close it out there. So. I wonder if we're going to see him actually uh, stick with the Ling. That's going to be a question, you know, because I have seen him play King. I have seen him play Lei. He did do a um, first to 10, I think, uh, maybe about, it was about a month ago, and I saw him bring mm -hmm. out these other characters, so I it'll see. be interesting. I've always heard that, uh, you know, well, yeah, I guess King could be interesting here. King could be interesting. Hmm. I'm trying to think what um, tools King does have for relax. I guess um, down forward four. Right, uh, yeah. Um, down forward four seems interesting there. Uh, down forward one, if you do it yeah, early enough, right? One. If you do it late, then you're probably dead. But uh, the down forward four, not bad. Uh, and Calum, you know, defensively, it seems like he's he's very committed to just standing and guarding. So mm -hmm. I guess that type of player, when you're a king player, I feel like you can get away with more throw attempts. Uh, like if you see people who are a lot more antsy and they're just, you know, willing to try to, you know, uh, fuzzy guard, guess low parry, then king is a little bit scarier of an option, I feel like. Okay, but ops the stick with the Ling Shaoyu. This is this is a first of three, so maybe you know try it out for one more game before he makes that final commitment and final decision. So we'll see mm -hmm. how this runs and goes. Yeah, they're gonna random stage here, go into Forgotten Realm, R oh, one floor perfect. break stage. This yeah, for been King, right? For his king, yeah. <laughs> Would have been nice. Been perfect. Well, let's yeah, see. But... Let's see what, yeah, let's definitely see what you can do to capitalize and on this stage. I'm not really sure how Ling capitalizes off this stage, what her combos are, and if any of the throws do break the floor. That is a great question. Uh, she's yeah. got one of those throws where she like flips you over. Uh, oh, yeah. Some, it's so like maybe a judo that one? Throw. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Maybe that one? Hey, going downstairs, yes. Nice conversion. 
I like the patience there. Just, you know, was backdashing to try and bait out or get up three or get up four. And he would have probably reacted there with the down three plus four. Get up four, four. Oof. Okay. Wild Stand 2 cast him on counter as he came up. Okay, and going get a four break. Yes. X marks the spot into key charge. Ooh. What? Was not was that ready. Was supposed to work? I'm, I'm going to say yes because he done it so confidently. Right? Yeah. I wonder if it's Eddie's like stance, how he's farther back, if that makes it not hit there. Yeah, so funny enough, I can't remember who I was talking to at UFA. They were saying that in certain situations, if Eddie actually just stands still and doesn't hold back, he actually evades certain mix-ups. So that actually Whoa. could have been one where he could have not just pressed a button and just his natural, um, I guess, idle, idle stance. stance. Yeah. yeah. Could be. That was, that was very curious because you're right. Phoenix went into that with full confidence. Like, I got the counter right here. Here's a shoulder and then just whipped. Ooh, talking about whiffs, that was her two big whiffs in succession. They're trying to whiff punish um, his launch, but it was a bit unfortunate there, a little bit out of range. Uh oh, because hop and throw. Damn, nice, just fame. No break. <laughs> oh, hey. for the side step three there. We're going to go downstairs. Nice. Going to get the tailspin now. I forgot that tailspin, but didn't dash up enough for the mm. down two, but gets count hit Round three. on wake up there. Callum Bukes looking very comfortable here. Yeah, he's played this matchup a bunch of teams. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, gets the flow. Yeah, bad dashing away from that spring kick there. Like, obviously, he floated there with the jabs, but he was far enough away. He might have just waited long enough and down for plus four there. Yeah, that's one thing I've noticed from him. He kind of, like, threatens it. He, he dashes up and kind of back dashes on Phoenix's way up. Wake up. Mm -hmm. The AOP going underneath. Go showing that evasiveness. Again, go for the AOP low. Oh, no. <laughs> Needed to do probably a wild stand in three there. That looked like the yep. correct option. In the back, that's going to be the round. Yeah, Cali roll there, whiffing Phoenix. You know, a little desperate with those Cali rolls. None of them have hit so far, and Calum's had the correct punishes on all of them so far. So, probably not a great option, but I think Phoenix just kind of hoping, like, man, I need one of these right now. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm thinking if you're Ling Xiao, you're newer in this situation, what are your best tools uh, that you want to try to land on Eddie here? It's. It's kind of hard, man. Um, like, what are your yeah. best approach tools, even, if he's just going to backdash away from you? Yeah, maybe the... What's, is it the run in three, maybe? But I guess if he reads it, it goes into a lax. Oh, yeah, that could be bad. Yeah, yeah running three hits pretty low for her, too, though, so oh, it yeah, might it work. Yeah. But, yeah, I guess you can't really rely on that as, you know, Eddie will start jabbing and you start yep. kind of reading that. It's, it's it actually... I'm trying to really think about... Maybe three till the four, the flip over move. Yeah, Maybe that's actually that a good choice. A... I like that idea. That's a very good choice. Like in my head, it's always like stupid, stupid, the giant flip. So I'm thinking like her four, four, three plus four. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, why did that come to mind? I was like, that's terrible. Um, not yet. I think I think the flip over is a good choice here. Uh, I'm also yeah. thinking, you know, we don't really see size step three used much anymore. Uh, and the size that three used to be one of those Ling Xiao Yu moves you really had to look out for. Like, oh my gosh, they might they might hit me with a uh, you know a size that three. I gotta you know be alert for it. Uh, but mm -hmm. I don't really feel like Ling Xiao Yu players use it that way anymore. I think that in the past it used to be used as sort of a uh, stopping an approach, right? But against Eddie, he's not really gonna approach from a distance unless it's with like the running slide. So size three not really gonna help you in that instance a whole lot either. Yeah, it seems I'm really trying to um, wreck my brain to go through her moves, actually, how she can approach this match. I mean, it seems like maybe she could have a little bit of trouble actually approaching and getting, you know, her, her mix up in. And because, you know, you, you want to be in close um, with Ling and want to initiate, you know, your back turn mix ups and really get out because of your game going. But yeah, um, maybe forward, forward three. You know, it's the one, it leaves her back turn. If it's counter hit, it turns her sideways. Oh, uh, it's, a little, yeah. it's a little bit old school. We haven't really seen a lot of it either. Uh, and again, though, we haven't really seen AOP, right? We haven't seen AOP defensively, like, I'm going under this. Can, can Link mm. even AOP duck under, like, Eddie's up forward four? That would be so good. But I feel like if she could, that would be a really good thing to try out at the end of the mm. round. I, I feel like uh, um, uh, Bukes, Callum Bukes actually hit him a couple times. It looked like when she was actually in AOP with up forward four. So I, I think okay, maybe yeah. that's got a chunk enough hitbox. And, and it's homing as well, so mm -hmm. I don't think of, like a little sidestep AOP or anything would work there it, well yeah. from what i've seen it, it looked like that was an option so it, it actually looks like callum bukes is really prepared for this match as well even with his punishes and his space yep. and 
So it seems like Phoenix is having a pretty tough time with it, and I wonder if it's gonna be time for a character switch. Um, I'm guessing I'm looking at his two characters, King and Lei. I guess Lei has that while standing three. I'm, I'm sure that hits low enough and it's chunky enough to kind of deter Eddie in any of his relaxed stance shenanigans. So there's that. Yeah, and I guess very good. Hmm. Yeah, and I guess we got King. He has his King as well. You know, the down forward four, as you said, the down forward one. And if he is stand blocking a lot, you know, get access to the giant swings, the, the throw mix up, which could actually mm -hmm. get something started for him because he is two um, games down. So he needs right. to make a huge decision now and see what he's going to lock in with. You know, he's going to have to stay with this character till the end. So it'll exactly. be interesting to see how he's feeling. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's either Ling all the way or we get to switch up to Layer King here. Uh, the Ling Xiaoyu matchup has been uh, going okay. I don't know that a character switch is going to help a ton. Uh, mm. But you never know, right? Like, and he definitely is very, very comfortable with his Ling Xiaoyu. So, uh, obviously, in this situation, usually loser semis is going to be a first two situation. But because we're only doing top four, everything is best of five. First to three games. And he does have that flexibility now to say, hey, I tried out my main. It didn't work out. So, for this last chance I usually wouldn't have, let's just... You know, throw stuff at the wall and see what we hit. Uh, it could be King, it could be Lei. I don't know. I personally hope for the King. The King. Well, I guess we're going to see if we're getting ready for the next battle. I guess if he didn't um, opt to go for a character change, maybe he could have gone for a stage like a Souk just to be very close. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's stuck yeah. with the Ling. Hammerhead. He's actually chosen Hammerhead this time. Yeah, and it's, uh, Hammerhead stays similar to Souk in terms of uh, shape, right? It's just that it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, in terms of the angle that you start at with it, which throws everything out of whack. Yeah. Definitely wants to try and keep close to Eddie. Doesn't want Eddie to backdash and get away. There we go. Let's see what Phoenix can do to try and bring it back. We've got Callum Bukes two games up here, looking to move on and advance in the loser's side of this bracket. Okay, now, doesn't get a Oh my up, god. Eh? Finally, California roll pays off. Okay, nice. I love that pushing Eddie towards the wall. Trying to lock him down there. Eddie's not really known for sidestepping out. He's in that back dash. Man, AOT nice. pressure coming out now. There it is. Yes. I, lo I love that now. It seems just locking him down in the corner of the wall. And it seems like this is where Callum Dukes is struggling. You've seen a lot of the AOP things evading and actually getting those wall. Um, Splats. That was that was crazy because Callum was staying duck in his face for multiple times. That Phoenix acted step like, oh gosh, do I need a duck? Is he gonna do a low, <laughs> full crash low? Uh, and then you know he got impatient, ran into a down forward two from Callum. Yeah, that was very unfortunate on the punish on the down forward uh, three plus four there. It went for the standing four, but it just seemed like it's a little bit out of range. It seems like a range thing there. Maybe it doesn't actually work. Finds a way yeah. to wow, spins away from the wall. I like the combo. Yes. To be careful. Of his rate, okay, nice block on a rage drive. Nice punish. Wow. There, that is minus 12 or minus 13, I believe. One of the two. Cal okay, still alive, though. Needs to be very careful. Doesn't want to whiff, but lets the full string go, you know, whiff the string from a distance. Probably just to whiff it. punish it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that catches people, you know, you try to whiff punish it and just get mm -hmm. hit by the full count hit in the middle of the string. Okay, seems like Phoenix now getting something started, and this is what I want to see, Phoenix um, locking down Eddie at the wall. This is where he seems to be getting the much success from. Yeah, ooh, that was a big whiff, but no capitalization there. Yeah, man, Phoenix has turned things around completely right here. Yeah, sitting on a perfect at the minute. Yeah, he's really slowed things down here. That little blow is not going to matter too badly. Yeah, forward forward. Oh, that boy. was a big whiff on the toe kick. Could have been the rage drive there. Mm hmm. 15 seconds left. Okay, rage oh, drive. Oh boy. Yo, Callum's not done yet. Oh. 10 seconds. There you go. Phoenix on the board. Three rounds straight. I was getting a bit scared of that at the end of that. It looked like, um, you know, Volatile Tekken 7 was about to happen. It looked like he was <laughs> just going to steamroll and take that. Um, round but you know just getting up with the wake up four they're able to close it out and that definitely looked a lot more comfortable there it seems like this is the one big thing about Tekken 7 now is the, the stage picks often really seem to 
can like change a match and it seemed like you know mm -hmm. locking eddie down uh, especially at the wall when he had him in the corner there it really seemed like that's where he was getting his most success from and then you know panic making eddie panic making Callum panic pressing those buttons and using the aop to actually go and start beginning those evasive um tactics that we know um ling xiaoyu is very known for no without a doubt and you know the stage pick Usually for Eddie Gordo or Zafina, you know, you see the infinite stage come out. It mm. hasn't seen, it hasn't been something that we've seen out of Callum yet, but it might be time to visit that infinite stage. What I did like from Phoenix though in that game was he played a lot slower and a lot more confident, as you mentioned, right? The, the slower pace at the end really helped him out, just like taking his little pokes at the end. If he plays like that the entire way through, I feel like he'll have much more success. So let's see if he can keep that up here. Callum opts not to go for an infinite stage, wants brimstone and fire instead. You know, some, sometimes I know certain players, they just like music and just like the feel and the vibes of the stage. So maybe, you know, that could just help them be comfortable. Maybe they know the distances to the walls as well. They got specific combos. Mm -hmm. Round could yeah, be a be, thing. You know, they launch their character at the beginning of the round. It's an easy combo to the wall, get things started. Nice, uses that relax stance. Oh boy, the back one plus two and scoops are up out of the getup kick. Nice block. Beautiful. And he went for a little mix up there, but didn't hit Callum. Got like the patience though, there. Yeah, I was gonna say, even though Phoenix is behind, you have to stay patient. And he's got caught by so many times running with down for two, but here we go. Cali roll rage, walls too close. Double raids. Yeah, spends his rage. Goes to the relax four. That was very risky because he's actually been punishing the relax four. Big oh, win. Wow. Was that back two that got AOP'd under? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All yeah. right, Phoenix. Definitely has the momentum now. Looking a lot stronger. Hey, while standing four. Man, these forward rolls from Phoenix are scary. Yeah, and again, the off four four does look like it hits the AOP and punish on the spring kick there. Whiffed. He's got to stop doing the spring kicks. They're they're getting him destroyed against Callum. Yeah, it's, it's, he's been very patient on them. Phoenix's wake up, just dashing in mm -hmm. and then back dashing out, just using that mo movement as some tool, sort of aggression tool. Yeah, and like as a risk reward, it's not even very beneficial for Ling, right? It's not like she's gonna get a full launcher or something off the spring kick that he's getting so punished for. But here we go, okay. 10 seconds with rage. Can we find something? You got yeah. 10 seconds, need a rage art at this point. No. Not gonna get it. There's the back two this time. And it's funny that he went for the back two immediately again, right? Like he just got AOP'd under it before. He's like, I'm gonna try it again to end the round. Okay, just poking him down, off forward four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice block on the side step four, the second hit. You can like, you can actually block the second hit if people don't know that. Showing that he's very ready. That's something you have to be very ready for. Yeah, Phoenix looking a lot better after the game three. Ooh, the back four there, cool around the Cali roll. You see, he's been getting hit a bit by the Cali roll, so. Mm -hmm. It's funny because I was, earlier I was talking about how it's not really working for him, but now he's got <laughs> like two of them to land. Nice pick up there. We're gonna go to the wall, side wall yeah. spot though. Love the adjustment. Round four. Phoenix with the lead again here in game four. Looking maybe send it to the final game. And now we start to see this mix ups, but great break on the throw. Seems like Callum's really, um, okay, gets a little power. I was about to say, he seems like he's really taking his foot off the gas. He's being very, very patient. It seems like this is benefiting mm -hmm. Phoenix a lot more now. And yeah, gets the handstand grab, and look at this pixel here. Set yes. point for Callum here. Definitely picked up the pace in that round. It really seemed like it worked out for him. Okay. Okay, nice. Gets the punish again. Nice with punish. Okay, what's the mix up? Okay, nice. He stayed grounded. Yeah, wanted the tech cat situation, didn't find it, but Phoenix still has a big lead here. An important round. There's the forward forward three finally. Cali roll mix, hop and throw! It's the bad decision to be great. Oh my oh. gosh, it's backwards. Yeah, I've never seen that interaction. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Doesn't matter. Phoenix holds on and ties up the set completely. Two to two here. Final game incoming. And man, it really didn't look like we were gonna make it this far. No. It really looked like Callum had it in the bag. 
but now it's tied up to a piece and you know this is you know going back to what we were talking about earlier about having multiple characters and switching to them etc this is kind of where sticking with your one character pays off right because earlier in the set cali roll didn't work at all and then all of a sudden the last two games he's landed these cali rolls have gotten him a ton of damage uh, and it's kind of like just sticking to your guns uh is like paying off throughout a longer set yeah, and he's he's getting punishes on the relax four as well. He, he seems to be always on point, you know. So he he shows that he he knows the matchup, he knows the punishes. So yeah, he's definitely growing into the set. Definitely got more comfortable. Um, he's looking, you know, from looking like he was going out. It looked like it was a long day for him, but <laughs> it, it definitely was able to bring it back. Now it's going to be interesting to see what stage Callum goes for because I, I feel that maybe an infinite hair could be beneficial um just because just to utilize your character's strength you know eddie has great back that's great movement um, chooses oh. to random and he, you know it's kind of the best of both worlds you know yeah. he gets he gets the stage he kind of wanted the brimstone of fire to transition to infinite stage so we'll see if it's enough to hang on for callum here but phoenix looking to run it back the whole way and make it on to the losers final of this event top four only only first place is the one that's going to amsterdam so a lot riding on this one game here yeah, I think the second gods tried to help in there, being like, you know, we'll give, we'll give you something as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're too stubborn to pick the infinite stage. We'll, <laughs> we'll work it out for you. A nice compromise. Spring and kick again. again. Yeah, that Maybe. spring kick, man. Wow, the parry whiffed? Venus does have the life here. Okay, gets caught. We're going to the wall. It was a mix up, but just relax. Nice patience there from Phoenix, but needs to be careful. Callum does have rage available. It spends the rage. What's the mix up? And no, oh, this time goes to the mid again and gets a wall splat. He's all caught up here, but now Phoenix, the one with rage, back to three at the wall. Back turn mix, Cali roll again! Unbelievable! It wasn't even like a pure back turn mix for the rage driver, not right? He ducked so long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in this deer in headlights, mm -hmm. you know, in these kind of situations, he just sometimes he just freezes up. Wow! And now the back turn makes it all work. And hop and throw some back turn. Cali rolls. It's gonna open Rip. up the rage drive for later. Yeah. Going into AOP, gets caught. A nice patience there from Phoenix. Nice punish. Needs to be careful because rage is available. Oh my gosh, he tried to parry it. Ooh. Oh, is that no? I feel like he could have just... converted for a combo and doesn't, and now the round count is tied. Yes, goes for a low that time. He's been going for the um relaxed four, so mixing up there at the end. It's not ready. Okay, going into the Phoenix. Oh, okay, gets the punish this Good. time. This time it connects. Yeah, so sometimes if you stay grounded, that actually picks up as well. It's, it's such a tricky situation to be in against Ling Shao, whether you tech or not. Mm -hmm. Man, look at this big lead for Phoenix. And just like that, with the perfect, it is set point for Phoenix over Callum Bukes. But here we go, infinite stage. Yes, this this I, I was opting to go for this for. I hoped um, Callum would go for this, you know, use the infinite space. Okay, big counter hit with a down four too. Okay, guaranteed for yeah okay slicing too far yes but now has the life lead. now he can utilize utilize the space we said it before it seemed like um Ling against eddie has a hard time getting in so use that space he's, he's finding his way in phoenix trying to close it out here and go on to the tournament okay. oh my gosh the blocks Ray drive only first day. another little round Miss got him! And we're Big. going to a final, final round. Callum uh -huh. and Phoenix. The big risk of the end may have paid off. I know we haven't seen it hit the entire set and finally at the end. Yeah, nice pick up. Gonna get the tail mm -hmm. spin. Yeah, what's the mix up? Okay. Hey. Trying to get something started. Big whiff on the out forward four. Oh my gosh, almost got Cali rolled. Yes, that's been a game changer of this match, a Cali roll. Okay, what's the mix up? Goes into back turn. Float conversion okay. here, not a ton of damage, but it's gonna add up. 
Okay, what's the next up here? I went for the forward, 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 went to end it nice and early. 20 seconds, life bar is about even. Uh oh. It, it can't hit. It's not going to kill, but it's going to put um, Phoenix in a bad position. Doesn't block the run oh in three God. slides on in. And wow. That was definitely down to the wire there. Um, I couldn't call it at the end, but unfortunately for Phoenix, bowing out um, literally last hit. And it's kind of reminiscent of the first to. First of 10 he had as well, where it was literally oh, the last no. hit. I know, it, I was just thinking, oh, you know, the Man. light at the end of the tunnel. It was a bit I mean, blinding. He was very, very well played, though, by Phoenix there, right? I think we all counted him out after the first two games and the way they went down, but he brought it all the way back there, had the lead even uh, in that final game. Unfortunately for him, though, Callum able to hold on, closes it out at the end, and that means that Phoenix goes out at fourth and Callum moves on to our loser's final. Yes, um, so we're going to have Manuni.